that is an empty truck but the curb ain't empty yeah good morning welcome to the scrap and pallet man channel oh that looks dangerous wow yeah yeah that looks dangerous all right I think I'm gonna have to go vertical right off the bat. <clears throat> yeah, definitely. <clears throat> Scrappers wanna beat me up first thing in the morning. Really? Wow. All right, this is too dangerous for me to do by myself, so. <clears throat> That's what I'm talking about. What's up, my army brother? Hey, man. Are you coming every Friday now? or I'm um, just about. Um, you are? Okay. Because yeah. I've been throwing some and I haven't been throwing some. Right. I haven't seen you. So. Right. Hopefully you're not getting any trouble for uh, for leaving metal. Nobody yeah. said anything to me. That's good. So. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody so leave it. So it is, it's not just me. There's there's about five or six scrappers running around. Okay. So if, if I don't get it, definitely one of the other guys will. Okay. So I just yeah. leave metal. You guys, somebody will take it. Yes. Absolutely. Uh, what is this on the curb? Two lawnmowers? Get in my truck. Oh, yeah. Let's get a little closer there, Paul. Oh, look at the tires about missing on that one. I think they got rid of, they're getting rid of these two because they got a new one. Their yard looks good. I wreck it. A mower day? Oh my good. I think it is a lower day. What's causing all this racket? Oh. Wow. What's this say? Remove gas. Okay. So, I guess there's gasoline in that mower. Do you think it starts? It looks like. It starts. Is there a priming bulb on it? Well, let's just give it a little test right now. Oh. Huh, where are you going? Now, these lawnmowers, they look like they're a little bit, a little bit rough. So, my mower guy actually likes really decent lawnmowers. Um, so, I think I'm gonna scrap these. That one doesn't look bad, though. I don't know. I'll wait. But I do know that I need to get this one on top of that one. That's not the fun part. This is the part that's not fun. Because I don't like bending my back to lift something. Okay, bend the knees. All right. 
hope that'll work. Is that copper? That's plastic. No. Oh. Totally plastic. Yeah, there's nothing um, metal about that whatsoever. What caught my attention was that grill. Yeah, that's magnetic, I'll bet. someone's voice I heard something oh yeah gotta snip that cord cord inside. I kind of like that lamp. Sure, your table is ready. Stuck in there, aren't you? Yeah. Man, it's warming up fast. It's a little bit foggy out here. Definitely overcast, but it's like a hundred percent humidity. It was another lawnmower, but it's a battery charger. All right, let's get it. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna check to see if it works. It has no dials on it. The knobs are missing. Hmm. I think you're gonna fit just fine in the barbecue. You good with that? There's a cord coming out of this one. That's all I have to say about that. This Walmart mongoose has seen better days. Definitely. <laughs> well, it's all seized up. I can't even close it at all. Yeah, 
That's good enough. Just kidding. I've got like four or five more bikes in the water. Really? Yeah, I'll come out and we'll Okay. You hear that? Oh, that didn't work out right. Well, if she's coming out with more bikes, I don't need to tie this into a knot. Because of the, that virus. Yeah, yeah. Oh, on, <laughs> well, I'm kind of glad they're going to get recycled now. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't sure if this was, um, yeah, actually, I was, I was pretty positive it wasn't garbage. <clears throat> wow, this is filling up pretty quick. It's just on top, all willy nilly. to go right there in that little spot I think we'll see hmm. yeah I can't I'm have to throw it okay now I can kind of finish tying down all right kind of a spider-man weave Small truck problems. Oh, well, I'm gonna grab a couple little scrappy bits at least. Man, put it on the hood, Paul. Scrapper doesn't leave any scrap behind. Yep, I get it. Grab a few tasty morsels. Should I take the door? <laughs> yeah, let's take the door. And a thermometer. Time to undo a little bit of this because I have another bicycle. That grill, nope, it's not gonna make it on here, that's for sure. Should I be degrading and degrade? Ooh, new gloves, it ain't worth it. Ugh. Nope, I don't want to get all that yuck all over the place. This is when the kids take out the trash. Almost made it to the trash. Let me guess, he's 15, same age as my son. Almost makes it out there. <laughs> there you guys tell with, with flat tires and rusted chains and that this is definitely not a bike that the kids just left here on accident. How's this gonna get up there? Hmm. I've got a really dumb idea. I 
hey <laughs> some of my dumb ideas are less dumb than others <laughs> some people ask me Paul why don't you get a bigger truck and a trailer and the issue is that that truck's paid off. There's no bills on that truck. And it's a wonderful, wonderfully running truck. A bigger truck is either it's gonna cost thousands of dollars or when that breaks down all the time and there's maintenance time, downtime and, or um, payments, truck payments. And I'm not in the position for any of those. No way. No chance. All right. This one I know I can break. Right here. So yeah. I remember the, the Secretary of Defense said one time during the, uh, during the Gulf War, he said, you go to war with the army you have. Not the, how do you phrase it? You go to war with the army, you have not the army you need or something like that. So yeah, I might need a bigger truck, but you know what? I'm gonna do it without a bigger truck. You want some company? Sink your teeth into this. Bad jokes. Bad jokes, pallet man. Is that gonna work? Is there a way to take this thing off easily? Can't just leave this thing dangling like that, can I? It's kind of lame, huh? Where else am I gonna put it? All right, I need to think this through. Can it go this way, kind of? Or... Yeah, I'm gonna use some extra rope. If I got any. <laughs> yeah, I got some extra. around the axle here. Ooh, maybe I don't. As long as it's still pulling down on that bicycle, I'm good. I don't think that's garbage. Well, I don't know, maybe. Those are pretty tore up bicycles. But it's not by anybody's house. There's garbage cans there for this house, and there's garbage cans there for that house. Hmm. 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 I'm gonna ask real quick. Are you guys throwing away those bicycles? Yes. Okay, so they're yours? They are ours, and we're gonna put them up like just for free for all. Awesome, thank you. Can I fit more bicycles on this truck? Wow, I don't think I can. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to. <laughs> so this was a Columbia 10 speed. 
very rusted. That's a good old fashioned huffy. Hi, Rufus. three, four, five, six bicycles. When I was a kid, these metal um, pedals were the ones that just hurt so bad when you're trying to ride a bicycle barefoot, which I did a lot in Las Vegas as a kid, because it's hot, crazy hot. But Paul, you could fix it up. Ooh, this one's heavier. Wow. No, 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 no. Copyright Paul. Yep, I think that'll work. Thank you. Always got room for some bed frames. I was framed. Freeze frame. Um, I think right here. Maybe. Perfect. Bicycle, bicycle. Pacific Rook, R-O-O-K. Is that even a type? All right, where are you gonna go? Mr. Bike Frame. It's a bike and a frame. Freeze frame. Seriously, dude, where are you going? Huh, I see a little nook right here. See this? Can I fill it? I think I can. Yeah. The puppy! The puppy! Morning, Ralph. Morning, Stan. Excuse me? A lawnmower? Oh. Am I going to be able to do it? Hmm. A radiator. Oh yeah. What else we got going on here? Four cylinder head gasket. All right. Truck is kind of squatting a little bit. Can we get a lawnmower on that truck? Can I put it in the front seat? I think this is all aluminum. It's not copper. Ooh. Yeah, I think it's 100% aluminum radiator. found it here a 
Lawnmower, lawnmower, where are you gonna go? quick actually I need one for my house I think this will work just fine yep ah look at that truck that's crazy um, perfect ah, rust water What's up, man? Are you gonna come back for that grill? Yeah, I'm gonna get that grill here in a little bit. Yeah, I gotta I got dump the scrap first. All right, I'll so, be coming back. Yeah, I will. Yeah, I'll be out here. I'll be back in about an hour. All right. Yep. Yeah, I gotta go. I gotta go dump the scrap to get that grill right there. Yep. That there grill. Let's try B&O Scrapyard, seeing how it is close. Actually, this is a real junkyard. It's not just a scrapyard. Four thousand seven hundred sixty. Whoa! No way. That's way more than I thought. Wow. Cans. Right. Hmm. Dude. Where am I dumping? That's the popo right there. Huh, where am I gonna dump? I just wanna kinda show how this is turning into a big boy scrapyard. Look at these, all these trucks lined up. That's a scrapper truck. Wow, there's another truck even on that side, so. So yeah, it is a big boy scrapyard now. All right, of course I gotta find a spot to dump that's muddy. Oh. <laughs> Last thing I wanna do is slip in this. You like the sign? Yeah, man, it totally works. Yeah, man, when I'm driving through the neighbors, people bring scrap out to me. It's like the, it's like the ice cream man. Man, this is no joke of a scrapyard now. Just lined up scrapping. Just show you how many, how much scrap there's out there. So, all right, I'm gonna untie this truck and hopefully find a spot to put the camera. I got like six bicycles. <laughs> That's the way to do it. I don't know if I can get out. Can you get out this way? Man, that was crazy. Man, that was.
was so many trucks there. And I'm leaving at 39.20. Wow. Is that 800 pounds? Whoa. Yeah, there's no way I could uh, get a good camera angle um, where I was uh, scrapping. So, yeah, my phone's just going nuts. I got a couple scrap pickups after this. Yeah, I just dumped everything. So 800 pounds. I wonder if they're at 90 or 100 a ton. Because I know that DeKalb Iron and Metal, they are at uh, 90 a ton right now. <laughs> hey, hey, what's going on, man? Good, good. I think I'm 19. 19? I think so, yeah. Are you guys at 100 a ton right now? What? Are you guys at $100 a ton? Uh -huh. I was just wondering, is that what the price is? Is it 80? Yeah. Okay. David, man, you guys are doing great. You guys have so many scrappers out there. Yeah. It's not every day, you know? It's not? I've never seen it this busy, ever. Especially what is Friday and Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. Today, that's crazy, man. I've, ne I've never seen it. I've never seen it this busy. I've been here three years. So. Good stuff, man. Okay. Agua. Agua. Three. All right. Thank you. Bye. All right, David. Be good. You too. Okay. So thirty-three dollars and sixty cents. Eight hundred and forty pounds of scrap. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, God. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this time. Thank you for energy. Thank you for clarity. Thank you for people that you put into my life. God, I'm just gonna pray that you, right now that you put the right people into those lives uh, that need it, God. I know that you already know what we need. I'm just asking you, God, we need you. In the name of Jesus, amen. Still there, yay. And the guy's garage is open, not yay. I don't know why I get nervous about that, but I do. Uh oh, that was not good. No, last thing you want is a rope to come out of your truck. No, man, that could, <laughs> yeah, get wrapped around a tire. Oh, can't even imagine. I think it'd create a black hole. Oh, this is one of those helium grills. Yeah. But there's no grates in there at all. Oh, there is. It's super light. <laughs> yeah, there's... Scrap is happening these days. He was thinking that this is a good grill and it's for grilling that's my guess but it's not good for grilling what are the chances that green lawnmower is still over here yay 
shade's still here. Oh, good tag from the garbage man. <laughs> you see it? All right, cool. All right, all right. Let's go get a lawnmower. What did he say? I'll bet he said empty gas. That he might say scrapper, I don't know. Gas. Yeah. Cool. I'm just glad that uh, it didn't get took. Done got taken. This is the same pile, actually. Um, I don't want to put this in the front. It's going to leak. Yes, I do. May I have one? Yay. You want me to come in and get it, or do you want to bring it out? I can do it. All right. I, I can put a mask on, too. It's up to you, though. All right. Okay. All right. Don't don't exert yourself. What's that? I don't think I'll be able to lift it. Okay. I I can I can do it if you want, but it's it's uh I understand the safety thing and the whole COVID. What's that? I do. Yes. I can put it on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my camera off too. That's gonna make her feel strange. She's <laughs> in her basement. Kind of beat me up pulling it out. <sighs> it's, the whole thing's metal. Yep. I know some people say there's copper in there Paul but there's also refrigerant that I'm not licensed to remove but my scrapyard is so all right need to get that cord did I pass up anything else I need to go back for can't remember all right, so that's first scrap pickup. The guy wasn't ready yet. Um, so I'm gonna have to come back either later today or tomorrow or something. So let's go ahead and do our final pickup. Our final scrap pickup. Right on, right. Get some scrap metal. Wow. Good stuff. It's a whole bunch of scrap. And rotors too, she said. Sweet. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I've never seen where they actually came off of the hub part. Hmm. Pretty cool. I think these are brass. Might be pot metal, but I think they're brass. Yeah, they're not. I, there's no way they're magnetic. Nope. Oh. Yeah, that's white. Yeah. It's still uh, 25 cents a pound. It's good stuff right there. Romex? Cords? She is awesome. Beyond awesome.
I'll let her have her dish back. Those are those window weights. It's cast iron window weights. It's gonna be loud. Plug your ears. Puppy bowl warmers? <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, look at this little nugget. Sweet. It's a couple dollars right there. metal cat it is a metal cat wow oh. <laughs> a piece of lead or aluminum yeah I think that's gonna be some shop decor. My metal motif. Wow, that's the Pinchomatic. I think 1,000. Yeah, back in the day. Yeah, these things barely even pinch. That's before they perfected the newer technologies. This is weird. This is real weird. You ready? The cat is purring. You guys want to get the rotors and that other decor. And I found that air conditioner yesterday. So I just now plugged it in. I'm not sure if it's working or not. Mm, no. I feel no cool air. What mode is it in? Fan mode, no. And there we go. Now it's under cool. All right, let's finish getting the rest of this stuff out. Is that cool yet? Nope. All right. That's not doing anything. Doesn't go lower, lower than 64. Yeah, that's probably scrap. I just heard the compressor kick in. So that thing might be working now. All right, kitty cat. You wanna go up there between Mary and Jesus and the Tonka truck? Meow. <laughs> Ride. 
All right, I heard the compressor. Let's feel if it's cool. Nope. That is blatantly warm, or the same temperature as the air. All right. We'll let it run for a little bit. Oh, sorry there, Beatles. Oh. Yeah, it's getting a little ridiculous. Copper. Oh. Romex. This is aluminum. This is number one copper. And this, is that steel? Yep, it is. All right, I'll just have to deal with that later. Copper bu or brass bucket. All right, are you getting cool at all? Nope. That scrap pile is getting pretty tall. Into DeKalb Iron and Metal. Second scrapyard of the day. I don't even know how much it'll be. 4,400, 4,420. That's good. I like it. Okay, so I'm guessing that was 400 pounds. I think 400-ish. Um, 
So what, it's four and a half cents a pound at DeKalb Iron and Metal, and it's only four cents a pound over at B&O. So yeah, should I do the math real quick? 400 times 0 0.045, 18 bucks. So that was 18 bucks. Plus, you know, I had a couple extra stuff. So you are awesome. Yeah, just be awesome, stay awesome, do your thing. And I was thinking when I was driving that not only do I want to encourage you to be you, I want to encourage you to be you here. Yeah, I know there's a there's an old Dr. Seuss rhyme about that. But I'm serious, is that God created us to be us. Um, and we need more of you. So whatever you are, be you here. We need even more of you. Yeah, we don't need we don't need something from you. We want you to be you more. Does that make sense? Thanks for hanging out.